Hi teachers, it's Kristen Wallace and welcome back to another Bloomboard tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to set your professional learning goals. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to bloomboard.com and remember that last year the interface changed. So when you first sign in, you're not going to sign in here, uh, but you're going to go to Bloomboard's observation tools. When you do, most likely your computer may have saved your introduction, so you're going to go to your dashboard versus your profile. Once you get to your profile, or excuse me, your dashboard, uh, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now, you should have finished your self-assessment back on September 30th. You may want to open that up in order to help you set your goals for your professional learning goals. And then you're going to scroll down here. Now, you're going to notice that I have two goals already listed for my professional learning goals. These are actually goals that I set last year, and I'm going to be continuing to work on those goals this year. But I might change a few of the things uh, in my details. So I can go into my my details here. One thing I did last year is I kind of over aligned my goals with indicators. I would say that probably you're going to align these with maybe one, two, or maximum three uh, different things that align with that. So I'm actually going to go back in here and I'm going to look again at some of the things that I did uh, that I checked off here. And there's a couple things that this really doesn't um, completely align to. So I'm going to actually take those off because if I have a goal that's connected to maybe five or six or seven indicators, it's probably not a very specific goal. So then I might go in and identify some specific things that I'm going to do here. For example, uh, this year I'm going to be providing more video tutorials that I'm going to provide for parents to help them with the one-to-one -one program. So once I edit that, I can go ahead and save that. Um, and if I wanted to add any materials there, I could. Um, I'm going to go now return to my goal planning. And I'm going to go down here, and I want to have three goals. So I'm actually going to add a third goal. And when you go in here, uh, you can add the oops the details to that goal, and oops I'm going to add that here. Add goal summary. I'm going to uh, one of the things I want to focus on this year is personalize. Spelling might be one thing I'm going to work on. No personalized PD for staff. So remember, you only have uh, about a hundred characters or so here, and so I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I can view the details, and here's where I'm going to go in and align it with the indicators, and also where I'm going to add some different activities, how I will measure that assessment as well. So once I've gone ahead and done that, um, I can return to my goal planning. And then your goal is to probably revisit these goals uh, every quarter and add evidence. And you can add evidence here with your goals, but we're recommending this year that you add all of your evidence in one place. So if you go back to the home page, we would recommend that you go under your annual evaluation to add evidence. That way it'll all be in the same place at the end of the year when you meet with your administrator and you come up with your final score. So I'm actually going to add evidence under the documents area. And in a later tutorial, I'll show you how to add evidence here and also how to tag it back to your goal. So remember, that's your assignment between now and October 23rd is to complete your professional learning goals and your student learning goal. In another video, I'll be showing you a little bit more about the student learning goal. If you ever have any questions about Bloomboard or about your teacher evaluation model, I would reference you to the West Tonka Edge 21 site and the Bloomboard section. Here you'll find all these video tutorials as well as more information about the timeline and where you are in the cycle and the entire teacher evaluation model. Thanks so much, and remember, if you ever have any questions, you can contact me.